welcome to the Kevin Piling Show. <laughs> on radio and on YouTube. And yes, you can actually hear me on I Stop Radio. And in case you haven't heard yet, log on to Facebook.com, search for I Stop Radio on Facebook and like the page. And you can make a request on whichever song you want to listen to. And a buddy of mine will play it for you. Now, that's also where you'll be hearing my show as well, for those of you who may not be aware of this. And yes, I've heard my own show on the radio once before. It's been all right. Now, um, there's a few things on my mind that I want to get to you today. In Kentucky, um, Kristen Kennedy did a story about um, how um, Kentucky was rated number one for... Um, not doing enough about animal cruelty which I've posted that on my page so if you want to watch it you can go ahead and do so the links available on my Facebook page on the Kevin Pond Show Facebook page hit like and start writing and tell me what you think now anyway as I was saying about um, Kentucky um, I was watching the news story before I posted it on my page and I got to tell you, there have been stories about horses being starved to death and beaten and slaughtered. I just don't understand why they do it. I mean, I understand you got to have food at some point, but for them to do that to animals, uh-uh. We don't need that. You know? I don't want anybody to be afraid of what they're eating because of stories like this. I really don't. So if any part of this story has disturbed you, please understand that I'm actually doing it for public awareness. And that's not the only animal story that I have on my mind today. Another story from Denver, Colorado over at KUSA 9 News. Um, a reporter was bitten in the face after the interview was over. Meaning after, meaning that it was at the conclusion of the interview. And the dog apparently was out of control. It was a big dog. I can't say for sure if it was a pit bull or not. I can't really tell the breed's that good. But all I know is that the reporter was bitten in the face. Um... She is doing okay. If you want to watch the story on that, you'll find that on my page as well. But but I can also tell you that the owner is facing charges of um, failure to abide by the leash law, to say the least. Because at least I know it's not animal abuse, rather, but rather it's just a mis rather that he made some mistakes prior to the interview. And get this, the dog was being rescued the day before. If, if I'm not mistaken, he was, the dog was lost and got somewhere in the lake. I don't know exactly where it was, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Now, you know, it's not so much I don't want to post every day. It's just I'm cutting back on how often I post. But that doesn't mean I don't want you to watch me. It really doesn't. It just means that I don't have a whole lot to say, and so I try not to say anything that's going to eventually offend somebody, which I find hard to understand because some people have their own version of what good behavior is, and some people don't, and I can't please everyone. So for the better of it, I'm not going to post as many episodes as I normally did. And this was as a this was as a result of the rude comments that I was getting in my old account, which is why I changed my account to TKPS1000. So if you haven't had a chance yet, subscribe to my new account TKPS1000. If if you haven't received the link yet, and you're still subscribed on my old account, I'll send you the link on my page so you can find it. But I guarantee you that if I share a news, I sh if I share a my episodes via YouTube. If you hit the YouTube button on the YouTube player, it'll take you straight on to where the video is from. And so you can subscribe from there. And speaking of YouTube, have you noticed lately that YouTube has its own separate player on Facebook? The reason they do that is because there are some people that don't have time to log onto the website itself. So what they'll do is they'll come up with a player 
that allow us people to actually watch the story on the same website so they don't have to worry about being sent to another one just to watch it. And that makes sense, which is the reason why one of my fans suggested I create this page. And she's a reporter at Big Two. Her name is Michael Delover. She does reports on energy once a week at 10. If you're watching my episode of the Kevin Pollan Show and you're from Midland, I guarantee you you're going to want to watch Big Two News at 10 every Thursday night. Because Micah will give you the benefit of the doubt as to what's going on with the energy industry. She does that every week. Every Thursday night at 10. Now, I will give Nine News credit for not showing the actual event of the reporter being bitten in the face. I'll give them credit for doing that because that would have been just too disturbing. We want people to enjoy watching the news, not be disturbed by it. You know? And, um, uh, you know, that's um, one of those things that we don't often think about is where we're going to do or how we're going to do it at that time frame. If we can connect and say, hey, we've got to understand this and how to do it, we might be able to say, hey, we've done a good job. Now, you know, we um, have ways of understanding different things. And when I say different things, I mean different things. And when we come back, I'm going to interview my buddy Sean Hardesty on how and what we're going to do to make sure that my shows will be available on his station. Stay with us. <laughs> a nighttime DJ. <laughs> oh, me. I was not expecting that to be a welcome back to the Kevin Pilon show because that's what I was going to do when you started saying that. <laughs> now, this is one of those blonde moments, sort of speak. Anyway, welcome back to the Kevin Pilon show. In case um, some of you, in case, in case some of you haven't heard, I promise you my guest is here today, Sean Hardesty. Welcome to the Kevin Pilon show. Now, um, now, um, uh, you were busy talking about this a little while ago. Now, um, can you tell, can you tell my fans, uh, what exactly got you started doing radio before you did I Stop Radio? Well, I, uh, started out, I, it was, uh, well, started out on MyLife.com, like I say, like I had plans that, and this was when I was still in school. I had plans that I was like, uh, I ain't going to do these SATs to go to college. I was like, man, I'm going to actually go into uh, radio school. So about oh my, and I found the radio broadcasting school, and I was like, well, I'm going to go into that. So I decided to go into that and deep, stop DJing off the food bar and just leave the leave the radio biz for a while and do the radio business and do try this radio school out. So I went there and I graduated and I was the radio school June the fourth of twenty ten and I was like, now I'm just in the process of finding a radio job and I was like, Wow, <laughs> so long. I dry and yet y'all have from my like nice kind auto that y'all can fill with music, you know. Yeah. Now, um, for those of you who haven't heard yet, um, um, there's a brand new Facebook page out there called I Start Radio. I want you to go to it and hit the like button, and and you can tell my buddy Sean, hey, well, what kind of song you want to hear, and he will play it for you. I guarantee you, he will play it for you. 
And you'll also be able to catch my show on his radio station as well. I was just reminding my fans because a lot of times they may not know what's going on. So, <laughs> yeah. so um, and speaking of Facebook, um, what gave you? Um, why did you decide to go ahead and set up the Facebook page now? A lot of my uh, listeners decided, well, what are you going to start your own Facebook page for your radio station so we can like it and actually post stuff on there that we want to listen to and stuff like that. I was like, well, thing is out this reminiscent on it, and I was like, I think I'm going to go ahead and start this because a couple of fans wanted me to do it as well, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Save them the hassle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because 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 it gives them a chance to actually make the requests online without ever having to call a radio station. Because you'll be surprised, people have changed the way they do it back then. Um, um, there's one radio station in question. Her name is the Queen. I don't know her actual name, but people will request music on it, and she'll tell them what to do afterwards. But you, however, you just go ahead and play it afterwards. All you got to do is just read it and play it. And right. um, have many people since then asked for the toolbar, or did they already have it before you set up the page? They already, like, I had set up the page before I set up the toolbar, and then I decided, well, hey, that wasn't enough. People like to listen to me when they're on their last stop and they're traveling, so I was like, might as well go with the radio toolbar. That's how the radio toolbar was born. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, now, um, when you last played my show on your radio station, uh, did you get any feedback from that? Not just yet. Like, there's some people just still listening to those shows that they recorded those. That the Pipes Out Radio and they're listening to you and they're deciding what feedback to leave on it. Yeah. Yeah, they can, yeah, see, um, they can listen to it anytime. It, see, me, I try to keep it short, but there was one episode I sent to you in particular that turned out to be too long because I, I had a lot to say at that time. Now, um, now, um, for those of you who may not know this, um, I also have my own Facebook page as well for the Kevin Pollan Show on Facebook. Like it as well, and if you have any suggestions on what I should talk about, let me know on my page as well, and I will talk about it. Um, but anyway, um, it was good having you as a guest, Sean, and I want to thank you for being a good sport on my show. It was good having you. It was good being on the show, man, and uh, good talking with you on the show. All right, man. Take care now. <laughs> You too, and uh, y'all keep listening out there and let me know what y'all want to hear. I'll be glad to put it. All right. All right. Till then, peace out. Now, um, now for those of you who had just uh, joined in, um, you can go ahead and log on to Facebook and like my best friend's new Facebook page called I Stop Radio, and you can make a song request on what you want to hear. Now, if you want to, if you need the toolbar at any time, just ask for the toolbar on his Facebook page, and he will send you the link in no time, and you'll be able to listen to that. Or if you want to know the website, just log on to slayerc.listen2. That's the number. That's the number two. Myradio.com, and you'll see that you'll see on the bottom of the description on YouTube and on Facebook the name of the website, so you'll know where to go if you have any questions. Now. Um, this has been a successful episode of the Kevin Pilon Show, and I want to thank y'all for watching. Now, I gotta tell you, this was the second time I've had him on the show. Now, I hope that this time y'all were able to hear him as unlike before. I finally realized all I gotta do is hook him up to my stereo, so. Y'all take care, and thank you for watching.